This is the GMMK TKL I bought from Amazon for $79. At this price, it is sold with no keycaps and no switches. You can get either a full size TKL or a 60% with Gateron switches and keycaps, all for the same price of just over $100. I had these Zelios V2 switches and spare keycaps that I wanted to use, so I opted for the bare bones edition. This board comes with a braided USB-C, per key programmable LEDs, and a minimalist black and silver design that looks and feels sleek to the touch. The finish on the plate didn't leave any fingerprints and I was happily shocked to find out that not only did the PCB already have foam installed, but there were weights placed in the bottom of the case to provide a more sturdy experience. After testing out the keyboard and recording some key sounds, I removed all the keycaps and switches and then opened up the board. I did try to add more foam to see if it would sound better and reduce pingy spring sounds, but I ended up taking it out later because the PCB was flexing too much to accept the switches. I took some Crytox 205 grade zero and lubed the bottom housings, stems, and the top housings as well. I was sure not to get any lube on the contact leaves or the legs. These Zelio switches are known for their superior tactility and I didn't want to mess with perfection and smooth out the tactile bump. These switches are quite expensive, over a dollar a piece, so it was nice to see golden springs and tight quality control that made modding and reassembling these switches a breeze. After I finished all the switches and placed most of them in the board, I removed the stabilizers and clipped the claws on the stabs. I did this so that when a key was pressed at the bottom of the travel, the flat PCB and the flat stabilizer provided a crisper sound and feel. Take a listen to the before and after mods. Let me know what you think down below. I recently bought five unique hot swappable mechanical keyboards from Amazon and wanted to see how they compared after I modded them. This glorious modular mechanical TKL I considered to be one board under $100 that is made with the most premium components and features. The other boards I bought were either the most aesthetic, the most unique, the best bargain, or the cheapest hot swappable board. This is the fourth video in the series. If you would like to see the others, please check out the playlist linked above. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content.